Hey there, today I would like to talk about this pen, which is a pen I recently got from jetpens.com, which is a web store that specializes in Japanese um, stationary writing equipment, uh, stuff like that. So if you draw manga, whatever, you can get pens and uh, special ink there. But they also have fountain pens, which is my main interest. And this is a pen from a brand that I have to admit I'd never heard of before. Oto. O-H-T-O. So I suppose that should be pronounced as Oto or something. Um, it is a Japanese brand and uh, this is the Oto F Spirit. I'll just pronounce it as Oto for, you know, sake of clarity. Um, the Oto F Spirit is a nice pen. Uh, as I said, I'd never heard of the brand. Uh, the, the motto of the brand is Japanese Writing Power. Now, I uh, thought that was interesting. I feared for a moment that if I would open the envelope, and there would be a little Japanese guy going, Bandai! or something like that. Um, but uh, that, that didn't happen. Uh, too bad, it would have been interesting to have a little Japanese guy in the mantelpiece or something, but no, no, that didn't happen. Um, I just got the pen. And this pen, it wasn't a particularly expensive pen, $16.50 and $165 for the converter. But... For that amount of money, you actually get a surprisingly nice pen. I was truly pleasantly surprised. So, I will cover the pen, and then I'll show you how it writes, and uh, that's it. So, the, the pen. Uh, first of all, I really like the design. This is a really tapered, cigar-shaped pen. So, you see at the end here, it's really, it really narrows down a little, and the same happens at the cap. So you really get a, a nice balanced pen, and what is interesting is this is not plastic, it's aluminum. And I like that because it gives it a much more you know, decent and nicer feel than plastic wood, which can often feel a little cheap. So this feels pretty nice, it's still not a heavy pen, but it, is, it, is, it definitely has a, well, some weight to it. Not as much as in some other pens, but it is not a, an extremely light pen. So let's take a look at the cap. There are two versions of the Auto F Spirit. There's a gold trimmed version and a silver trimmed version. I took the silver one because I thought the silver and black would, would match fairly nicely. Uh, and in this, therefore, in this case, I got a silver colored clip. It's not real silver, obviously, for 1650. And a silver band around the uh, cap here. Uh, the cap, furthermore, it says uh, F Spirit. Fountain pen, which is good if you're not sure, if you open it up, you're not sure whether a ballpoint could look like this, or perhaps it's just a fountain pen. No, it really is a fountain pen, and the cap constantly reminds you of that, which is really useful. Um, and then on the other side, it says Auto Japan, and it has the Auto logo, and it says FF10F. I'm not absolutely sure what that means. Uh, probably one of these Fs indicates it's fine, because there only is a fine nib for this pen, uh, but still. A nice thing which I actually like, and which my camera probably is not going to pick up, is that the, the round ball on the clip actually has a little ridge on there. So, this the, the clip extends, and then the ball, and there is a very minor, like, edged thing in there. So, that's that's kind of nice, that it's it's a bit of texture in there. It's very minor detail, but I do think it's nice. It, it looks fairly original. The clip itself, okay, no problems there. You can uh, open it up fairly easily. Yes, it is tight enough to really stay in your shirt pocket, so that's uh, that's great. Um, that's it for the, the cap, I think. Now, one thing, this cap is on extremely tightly. I, I mean, clearly it'll come off, but I'm really applying some pressure here, and you really have to pull it fairly, uh, well, you know, seriously to, to pull it off, which I think is a good thing, because if you've got this in your shirt pocket, and you uh, draw it out, then you don't just want to hold the cap and the pen to remain in your shirt pocket, so that's impossible with this pen. It is a click-on cap, there's no screwing action, which I actually prefer, because then there's really no option of just accidentally pulling off the, the cap, but okay, I, I'll accept this. Um, as I said, 1650 and still very nice craftsmanship. Again, around this script section, you get this silver-colored band, 
and a silver colored nib. I'm not sure whether the nib on the uh, gold version is also silver. It could be gold colored there. I'm, I'm not sure. I thought it was silver, but I, I can't really recall. Then you get another silver like thing around the, the nib there. And that's it. Now the nib itself is fairly nice. You probably can't see it very well, but it is not a, a I mean for a, a, a pen at this in this price range I thought it was very nicely nib. There is some etching in there and it says Iridium Point Germany. Now recently there has been some discussion on that because of course you can just stamp on Germany. That doesn't mean the nib is actually made in Germany. Um, I have no idea where Otto gets his nibs from and I have to be completely honest with you I don't really care all I can tell you it's is it's a good nib no complaints it's fine yes it is on the hard side yes but it is smooth no scratching even though it is a fine nib so whether it's from Germany from Japan from China whatever I don't care it is a good nib and it actually looks nice and it's pretty big I suppose I mean for a, a pen this cheap I've had more expensive pens with with smaller nibs overall now that does not necessarily mean a lot but still I do think it looks very nice the end of the barrel again aluminum reflective as you can see it really reflects the light it's not so much a mirror finish but it, it, it is really nice nice to the touch smooth feels a bit silky good pen the grip section is, I think, some kind of hard rubber. It doesn't really feel like plastic because there is some... It really f it gives you a good grip. And it's fairly large. You see that? If I hold it like this, it extends beyond my hand. And for a Japanese pen, at least I always thought, you know, Japanese pens were a little small. Um, but if I post this, then it's huge. You see how far it extends beyond my hand? And I have large hands. So it's it's really big. I don't even have to post this to write with it comfortably. So another thing I really like about the pen. Let's have a look at the uh, the inside. This just uh, the, the, the barrel just screws off, of course. Then you have a converter. The converter is not supplied with the pen. You have to buy it separately, but at $1.65, uh, you know, it's just 10% of the price of the pen. I think that's very reasonable considering there's also four, five, six, seven dollar converters. Uh, and you get a very simple converter. It's a screw type. I will not uh, screw this uh, grip uh, section here because it's um, filled with ink and then the ink will just spray out that end. I'm not going to do that. Um, it holds a decent amount of ink, actually. I think it was a fairly large converter. I, the the uh, Namiki Falcon converter, well, not the, the Falcon, but I mean the Namiki converters are really small much smaller than this. So this really holds a very decent amount of ink. It's all plastic, there's nothing fancy in there. Um, but it works. It's a converter, it draws up ink straight away, no problems, um, so uh, no complaints there. So I'll assemble it again. As you probably hear, that really clicks in place. So, the Auto F Spirit, very nice pen. I can really recommend it. If you're in the market for a not an ex a pen that's not too expensive and yet is of high quality, get this. The one downside, I suppose, is that you cannot choose a nib size. I would have loved this in a broad nib because that would have been awesome. But okay fine is what you get that's what you have to work with and even as a fine nib this is not as fine for instance the Miki Falcon fine is what we would call extra fine this is not extra fine in fact I think this tends toward medium especially if you consider this is a Japanese pen not at all bad not at all bad I'm really really pleased as to packaging the pen of $16.50, this just came in a little plastic sleeve and nothing more, no box, nothing. Is that a problem? I don't really care. $16.50 and you get this pen. Aluminum, not plastic, nice nib, converter sold separately but it will also take international cartridges. So, now one thing I would like to point out is that I have the feeling 
this barrel, this is one part. There are no seams on there. This is a different part you put in there, I think, because I can feel a ridge there. One might be tempted to convert this to an eyedropper, to just fill up the barrel with ink, screw it on there, maybe a little bit of silicon grease on the threads. Be careful with that, because this is aluminum, and ink will eat away the aluminum in time. And that means it'll, you know, rust on the inside, and uh, you probably don't want that. On the other hand, with today's inks, I mean, I'm not sure whether you would not get away with it. i just like to point it out that if you try that, you know, beware of the consequences. It could really eat away your pen. Um, so I would say stick to the converter, or stick to international cartridges if you don't want to buy a converter. And in any case, this pen is recommended by me. So that's it. I will uh, show you how it writes next, and um, that's all I got. So I'll see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go. Writing with the Auto F Spirit. A fine nib. The ink is orange Indian. A Gerber ink. I'll uh, do some writing for you. So as you can see, although this is a fine nib, in fact it is not nearly as fine as I feared it would be. And I'm very happy with that because I'm not that big of a fan of immediate of excuse me of, of fine nibs anyway. But this is actually what I think in Waterman would be medium. So I'm I'm very happy uh, with that. And um, the the feed, no problems there. If I write very quickly, not being legible, just being fast. You see that the feet just keeps up. There's no problems. In fact, if I just hold the pen like this between thumb and index finger and apply no pressure, just move it across the paper, and considering it may dry out a little because I'm talking now and not, you know, writing. See that? It picks right up. There's no pressure. The ink just flows. So the ink flow in this pen is superb, which I really like. Now, when it comes to flex, This is a lot of pressure, this is no pressure. Yeah, there is some variation possible, but it is extremely minor. So, don't expect to get an extremely flexible nib with this pen. It is a fairly hard, I wouldn't call it a nail, but it definitely is a hard nib. But then again, the ink flow is perfect, so what more could you wish for? Um, you can see that here too, it lays down a very nice and even amount of ink. Um, yeah, great pen. And um, especially if you consider that, then, you know, very, very cool pen for the amount of money I paid. So, that's it. Um, I hope this was useful. I thank you for watching. And, bye-bye. Um,